pleasure to have her here. This is her second time here. She is a Grammy and Emmy Award winning artist whose new CD, At Last, is receiving critical acclaim. Please welcome Cindy Lauper. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I get these facials that make me look better. You are <laughs> glowy and shiny see? and the dress you like and see-through and the... Well, just the bottom. Yeah, just, just the, the bottom. bottom. You don't want the whole thing see-through. No, that That's not as classy. Right. No, not good, no. No, I had a baby. It's not good. And speaking of babies, for your girl's first birthday... And your son... Thank you so much, Cindy. Well, That's... It, you know... Can I wear this? Or, no, or not this... you. Oh. No, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Thank You're you. You're welcome. You gave my son some drums and he was playing, so I'm sorry that you're not. You should be. This show is fantastic. Well, thank you, Steve. Oh, it's all good. It is all good. I thank you for that. It's all good. I, I'm having the time of my life. And you know what makes it great is, is the fact that I'm, I'm sticking every single guest that I can possibly stick in before May when I stop, stop doing them. And the fact that you came back. You are on our highlight reel. You, you coming on and singing on the show and sing, sing, singing with me, probably one of my life and career highs. So I thank you for that. This is absolutely top notch. Top notch. So I want to talk, because you're going to sing for us later, but I want to talk about this. I, I heard this, and it sounds so wonderful. Oh, thank Folks, you. it's called At Last, and, and this is the art. Look at that. Look at that. Classic. Classic. What, what am I looking at? I don't know. <laughs> I'm classic. See, that's nice. There you now, go. Now, it's getting great, great reviews, but how did all the pairings come together? Was it your idea? Who had the idea of doing that? Well, when I was on here last, we were touring with Cher, mm -hmm. and I was, um, I was promoting the Shine CD, and we were shopping for a label, and everyone kept leaving and saying, I didn't know she could sing, which, I don't know, to me, it's right. pretty obvious, but it's, <laughs> you know, because how could you make a living if you couldn't? So, anyway. Oh, have you picked up a CD lately? Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, so, you know, my manager uh, was frustrated and said, well, you know, you should try and do an interpreted, you know, CD. And, you know, I wanted to do classic songs, but, you know, when I started to do old standards, it was just a little boring. So, I decided to choose songs from the 50s and 60s, and you know, like At Last is a classic. Oh. I'm from a, a club band, you know. Incredible song. Everybody sings that song. It was that or I put a spell on you. So I sang I put a spell on you, and I wasn't putting such a spell on anything. So I figured, okay, it's either that or it lasts. Go with it lasts. So, you know, that's how that made it on. Love the Rose, Unchained Melody, Making Whoopi with Tony Bennett. Now that. <laughs> And, and uh, Stevie Wonder's on this as well. Well, he wrote that song, and hold on to your stomachs, when he was 13, okay? What were you doing when you were 13? He was writing hit songs, so, you know, he wrote that. But um, I wanted, I asked him if he would play on it, because then the song would have its lineage, mm -hmm. you know? It was hard to do at first, because, you know, Aretha, that's all I thought of. And, is only one of her, so I tried to sing opposite. So it's so weird to be... hear that. Even someone like you, you get intimidated or to No, to, she to taught degree? all of us. Well, yeah. She was one of the great teachers. You know, we all we all listened at home in our rooms, you know, as girls, and they were the leaders. My God, it was uh, respect and seeing a woman play piano and sing. That it was, it was an incredible uh, experience for. Being a girl and seeing somebody like that, my God, it was something else. Wow. Now, is there anyone else that maybe you didn't get on the CD that you you would have loved to have gotten down with? Yeah, Tom Waits. I wanted to sing "Falling in Love" again with Tom Waits, but he thought it was a girl's song. He thought it, it was too girly. Tom Waits yeah. told you that? Well, he wanted to do it's a little too girly. Is. <laughs> no, no, he did talk it. Hey, Zane, how you doing? He's a fantastic guy. He's a great guy. But, you know, 
You never know. You could hook up on another time. Right, on the hip-hop track that I'm going to produce for you. All right? Yeah, it's There's a be lot you, of versions of this. You and old dirty bastard and Busta Rhymes getting down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I love hip-hop. <laughs> So you're touring with the new CD? Yes. The tour's going well? Well, I do promotion, and then I go out and do live shows, and mm -hmm. then I do promo. I don't want to do it all together because it's too hard. Right. It's very hard. But, yeah, it's going well. It's kind of great to go to each different town, check out the people, because each town, the people are different. So you wait, and you see how they are, how they react. Is it their night out, or is there a group of women together that's their girls night out or they couples they all react to the songs differently like mm -hmm. when they sing unchained they all kind of you know hug each other a little bit and when i sing at let you know at last i don't know that's the first song and uh, i don't know what's going on i just try and get through the first song but stay everybody gets excited and right. they love dancing and makes them happy you know it it but each town consistently Stay and those songs, they, they respond to all of them for different reasons, I guess. I don't know. Well, because these are classics, and the great thing is in classics, you don't have to mention your booty, your bling bling, or how much crystal, or whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's just good to, to hear just good classic music, and, and that appeals to everyone. Well, yeah, I mean, Tony Bennett chose Make and Whoopi, and I would have basically sung the alphabet with Tony Bennett. Right. <laughs> I met, I, I, I met him, but I saw him in the 60s. You know, when I was growing up, my mother played his album so many times that by the time I got to high school, I was singing, I left my heart in San Francisco, I left my socks in San Francisco, I left everything there. You the know, whole thing. The whole thing. And then, and then I saw him at the World's Fair when I was, there was a World's Fair in Queens. Of all places. No, it was great. And he was coming down the, ele the escalator, and I told him when I met him when we did the song, but I don't know, I guess I scared him a little, but I thought it was funny. I said, Tony, may maybe you remember me. Uh, you were coming down the escalator at one of the pavilions. I was going up, pigtails, uh, pedal pushes. I waved, you waved back. And he, he just looked at me like, yeah, kid, you've grown. You know? <laughs> what a memory. What no, a memory. I don't know, but I think, you know, then we moved on, and he's fantastic. He sings in the room without headphones. He sings, and the band is right there, and he has no headphones on, and he just sings into the mic. It's an amazing thing to wow. watch. So, of course, I took my headphones off and I moved my mic closer so I could hear him. Right, of course. You know? <laughs> but, you know, you could hear him. He was singing loud. It's just so totally different because I'm a rock and roll singer, so everything's electronic. And for him, he was just singing natural singing. Like, it was like going to one of those great vocal lessons, you know? Only I, I kept pinching myself, like, OK, 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 I'm okay. here. <laughs> Ooh, cool, you know? It was, it was great. I had, I had on this CD one of the most, I had hilarious, hilarious experiences and some really deep, some really deep ones. Uh, it's so funny that you have Sheila E's brother here. Peter Michael. P yeah, because he, um, he, his sister and I arranged stay with my band, and then she brought her friends in, and that was hilarious because we didn't expect to do that. And every time the doorbell rang, more people and more equipment came in to the point where Russ Tiedemann, who I got to work with us, uh, kept asking when the manicurist was coming <laughs> and the pizza guy because there were so many people. No, I was busy that night. I couldn't come. You couldn't come. We called you. No, I had delivery over in Brentwood. <laughs> I was ding dong, I couldn't come. Hey, folks, you know what? When we come back, we have more with Cindy Lauper, and you're going to get a chance to listen to this woman sing. You have to come back. <laughs> on The Wade Brady Show. Don't miss it. Everybody, welcome back. It's time for some music. Performing Stay from her new CD of eclectic standards entitled, At Last, Miss Cindy Lauper. <laughs>
Cindy's new CD, At Last, it's in stores now. You can see Cindy on tour through the month of February. We'll be right back. CC, stay. Levitt's grand opening sale kicks off Friday through Sunday with no down payment and no interest payments for three years. That's right, you heard me. For the very first time, get three years to pay for your new furniture at Levitt's or pay.